Yo, welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. All right, so let me go ahead and talk about Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I was supposed to talk about Salt Lake City a week ago, but I never got around to it. And I find it interesting that whenever I would talk about Salt Lake City in the past, didn't nobody pay attention. But I guess now people are paying attention because Monica is the villain that she is. In last week's episode, we found out that Monica ran a troll account called Reality Von Tees. And I guess, according to Monica, the account was created in order to take down Jen Shaw because she was a menace to society and she, um, you know, was a fraud and treated her employees really poorly. And remember, it was that video. That video of um, uh, Jen Shaw cussing out one of her employees. I think Monica took a lot of those videos and she would post them onto that blog and things like that. And so fast forward to now Jen Shaw is in prison for fraud, defrauding the um, elderly public. Monica, her ex-assistant, is now a housewife on the show. Now, I am really, 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 really torn about the situation because I felt like Monica was a great addition and I still do feel like she's a great addition but like I'm I'm so torn and I'm really interested to see how production and casting is going to be uh next season I kind of feel like they're going to keep everybody literally I think they're going to keep the same exact cast even Mary they're just going to keep the same exact cast because I think it's working in this moment but now that we know that Monica was kind of like trolling the women and exposing these deep dark secrets and running this blog and this troll account that centered around Jen Shaw and the rest of the women from Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. How is it gonna be in the future with Heather and Lisa and Whitney and Meredith and Angie K interacting with this woman, right? Essentially, this housewives blogger is what I'm calling her, this housewives blogger troll account person and infiltrated this friend group. And now she's amongst them. Okay. These women were hanging out with a mole. These women were sleeping with the enemy, essentially. And I just kind of felt like I'm a little bit disappointed in the fan base, the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City fan base, because I felt like. And this is why I'm torn as well, because Monica's beautiful. I think Monica's very open, except for the fact that she forgot to mention that she was the leader of this troll account. But I think she's gorgeous. She looks like a great housewife. Um, she's outspoken and dramatic like a great housewife. She reminds me of like Jen, she could be Jen Shaw's little sister. She went to the Jen Shaw school of how to be a housewife. She can read the girl, she can shade the girl, she's into the drama and she knows how to make great television. Those are the pros of having Monica on the show. But then the flip side to that is, how do we expect these women to want to interact with this lady who is like the ultimate deceptive character. Like if I was Heather, if I was Whitney, if I was any of these ladies, I would not, I would not want to hang out with her. I don't think I could hang out with her. I'm cool and somewhat friendly with people today. Some of them I can call friends um, that I previously blogged about, but they know that. And we started off our relationship with the truth truth and transparency they know that i've talked about them in the past they know what i've said about them in the past they know that i've sat up here on the house of aaron and uh talked about them because they were a hot topic i wouldn't start no relationship with somebody you know blogging about them and then having a real life relationship with them and then act so defensive and so surprised when they find out that i've been talking shit and been airing out they shit in the past that's creepy that's creepy monica monica's wrong i don't care how you slice it or dice it y'all can think that she's great for the show which she's brought so many great moments and y'all are saying that you know last week's episode was the best finale in housewives history bravo history and things like that and it was great don't get me wrong but i feel like we have to be honest i just can't believe that nobody's really holding her accountable like, I feel like the fans are like, well, she's bringing the drama and without her, it would be boring. So nobody should feel the ways about it. Why are they acting like her running or being a part of a uh, troll account is the worst thing on earth? Why are they coming for Monica? If Monica wasn't on there. They wouldn't have anything to talk about. Monica is that girl. Monica is the show. Monica is first seat. Monica is this, that, and the third. And yes, Monica's beautiful. She can read the girls down. When she called Angie K a, 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 a bench warming bitch, I was like, whoa. Okay. When she was staring at Lisa talking about some shut up. And then she's so, she's very articulate. Um, She knows how to get her point across. She's re really sharp and shady. And she has the makings of a great housewife. So I see why people like her. 
But I also don't understand why no one is holding her accountable for being so gross. I think that's gross to be behind this troll account and then to infiltrate this friend group trying to be friends with people and then want to be defensive about it and then want to, uh, you know, act like everybody's treating you wrong and doing you wrong when, girl, you've been an undercover fan and a troll and a stalker since day one. That shit is weird. The folks are also saying, well, they never held Jen Shaw accountable. They were okay with protecting Jen Shaw. So why are they so mad at Monica? They don't know Monica. They knew Jen Shaw. Monica, she's nobody. Jen Shaw, she had the money. She had the label. She had the look. She was the star of the show. She was the nucleus for the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Who is Monica? Why would they ever think about protecting Monica in the same manner that they protected Jen as if Monica has the same deep-rooted relationships with these women it doesn't make a lot of sense and so i kind of feel like a lot don't check out when it comes to monica one the troll page two i felt like she used meredith okay everybody said that meredith was using uh monica i feel like monica was using meredith meredith was used as a scapegoat for monica's doing this entire season it was monica bringing up these rumors the entire season and meredith being blamed for it every single time then you have the fact that She's disgusting to her mother and her mother is disgusting to her. I don't want to see that on my TV. I'm so sick of her and her mother. Then the mother exposed her talking about some, you know, this is just a job. You're acting. It's a little bit too intentional for me. And then uh, why do I feel like she never had family in Bermuda? Why do I feel like she never had any intentions on meeting up with her family in Bermuda? Why do I feel like that was all fake and a phony and a fraud? Like, I just don't believe anything. You know, not saying I don't believe anything that she says, but I just everything that she's done and said, I am questioning it now because at first I'm thinking, OK, she's really transparent and she's, you know, forthcoming about her past and this, that and the third with the affair and yada, yada. She's a whore. She got excommunicated. But now I'm thinking like, hmm, is this mother daughter storyline being played up for the TV? Is this your family canceled in Bermuda being played up? For the TV, you was at Meredith's store talking about some, oh, this is my first time here. No, girl, we caught you on camera. No, sis, we caught you on camera. You a bold faced ass lie. She had a lot about something else. She lied about being in that woman's store. Uh, she also lied about the troll account. Remember when they first exposed her? She was like, no, what are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. That's not true. The show came back from commercial and then she changed her tune talking about some, well, that's not entirely true. It's six other people that run this account. And then she 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 didn't even pay Heather for the Botox. She did not even pay Heather for the Botox. Listen, do I feel like Monica's going to be back next season? Absolutely. Because she is great TV. But I feel like what I want to see from her is an apology. I want her to be apologetic. I want to see some humility. I want to see some 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 apologies and i also want to see her try to build real friendships and it's like you can't really on this show be on an island by yourself you have to try to at least attempt to have two real friendships on to the show so y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments down below that's how i feel about salt lake city let me know i just kind of feel like this whole she's great for the show so they need to deal with it i think it's bullshit you expect me to hang out with some girl who, who who's talking shit about me on the internet nonstop. And it's, um, what is it? It's, 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 it's behind a, a cat photo. What's, what's that lady name? Reality Von Tees, Vita, Vita Von Tees. What's that lady name? Dita, Dita Von Tees. Okay. That's that lady name. I don't want to hang out with someone that's behind a picture of Dita Von Tees and is exposing my tea you know, on the internet. I just find that to be really, really weird. This is a, a show about a friend group. It's about a friend group. I don't want to be friends with someone that's running a blog to trash me and my friend group. That shit is weird. Now you can be a blogger, but you need to be the face of the blogger. Okay. Candy is a blogger. Heavenly is a blogger. Carlos King is a blogger. Tamara Judge is a blogger. I don't really agree with bloggers being on Housewives, but fine. Since we're in a new era, we're in a new age, you can be a blogger and be a housewife. But if you're going to be a blogger and be on the Housewives or on Bravo, 
you need to be a blogger or a troll account with your face on it. In the bio, it needs to say, ran by Monica Fowler slash Garcia. This whole, oh, she's so good for the show. Fuck that shit. I don't want to be around her. She's weird. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.